God, God bless you. The reality is this. God has called all of us to be pastors and teachers and preachers. Your platform may not look like mine. Your platform may be in your workplace. But when people know that you always have your cross, you're going to have some coworkers and some friends who don't know who Jesus is. They don't know how to find him. But they know someone who always has their cross. They know someone that even in spite of all hell breaking loose, they still have joy. Carrying your cross means simply, I'm going to continue to elevate Christ no matter what's going on in my life. Can I bring my cross? Ladies, I want to be real with you. The relationships that you're in, can you bring your cross? Fellas, the, I, w- I want to ask you, the, the people that you hang with, can you bring your cross? God has called us to deny ourselves, be sensitive to where he wants to take us and to follow him and carry the cross. Can somebody come get this? I'm not carrying this cross no more, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to do. Maybe, maybe you're in here tonight and maybe you've asked that question of, of who is Jesus? And what does it mean to be a follower of Christ? Maybe you don't have any clarity on that. Maybe you haven't, maybe you haven't ever made that step and actually began to follow Christ. You may be saying that, Keith, I, I would love to have a relationship with Jesus. And I hear what you're saying as far as taking off my shoes and, and all that. But if you are honest, you're like, Jesus don't want to touch my feet. I got athlete's feet because I've been running from him my whole life. I've been, I've been avoiding God my whole life, and I have some scars and some scabs and some things that, that even Jesus don't want to touch. I want to point you to the book of John, the 13th chapter. And as Jesus is about to go and carry the weight of sin for all of mankind, he takes off his robe, he puts a towel around his waist, and he walks around and he washes every one of his disciples' feet. I want to let you know that even Judas, the one who betrayed him, got a pedicure that day. Jesus, knowing what Judas was about to do, still took the time to wash the dirt of his past, to wash the dirt of his brokenness off of his feet. Uh, I want to let you know that there is nothing that you have done or can do that will keep the blood of Jesus from making you clean. I want to ask you this question, and and I I, want to be as as sober in this moment as possible. I'm going to ask if everyone can just close their eyes and and, and bow their heads as we we begin to prepare and allow this to be an opportunity for, for the presence of God to move. Perhaps you're in here tonight and you're saying, Keith, that's, that's me. I, I, I never understood this Christian thing. I've heard so many different versions of what it means to be a Christian. But I know that I am prepared to move forward in a relationship with God. I don't have all the answers. Everything doesn't make sense. But what I do know is that I'm prepared to just step into this thing and see where God leads me. If you're in here tonight and you're saying, I, I want to go into a relationship with Jesus. I want you to symbolize that just by by raising the hand. On the count of three, I'm going to do this. One, two, and three. Get them up. Amen, 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 amen. If you're in here tonight and, and maybe, maybe, you're saying, Keith, I've, I've been in a relationship with Jesus. And, and there's places that I didn't take the cross with me. Jesus, it, in fact, there's times where I may have had on the most thickest shoes under my feet. I haven't been sensitive to where he was leading me. And there's times that I haven't been close enough to see what he's done for me. I want to I wanna, I wanna pray for you. And I simply want to say this to you. That, that Jesus is here 
to allow you to draw closer to him so that you can follow him. Jesus is here to help you to remove the, the barriers that are keeping you from being sensitive to where he's leading you. And Jesus is here to help you to understand what it means to elevate him in every area of your life. Any of those categories may be speaking to you. There's categories that are even speaking to me and I'm on the stage talking to you. If you're in here tonight and you're simply saying, I, I wanna be more sensitive to what God is leading me to do. I, I wanna be able to elevate Christ in every area of my life. And, and honestly, I, I wanna continue to follow him no matter where he leads me. If, if that's you in here tonight, could you just, I wanna, I wanna pray for you. Could you signify that by, by raising your hand? It's, it's basically everybody in here, amen. This is what I want us to do. I want you to, to stand on your feet. Sub 30. I want you to know that, that we've, been, we've been praying and, and, and really seeking God for this service. And I, I feel like God wants to, wants to touch and to restore and bring clarity and deliverance to a lot of people in here. And one of the things that I commonly say when I'm up here is this. It doesn't matter what your serving role is. It doesn't matter who you came here with. It doesn't matter if you were on worship. It doesn't matter if you were on parking. It doesn't matter what your responsibility is. There's nothing more important in this moment than getting into the presence of God. I, I wanna invite everyone that raised their hand to come down to this altar right now. I, I wanna pray for you. I wanna, I wanna speak a word over you. Come on down, it's all right. I promise you I will not spit on you or bite you. Come on down. This is, this is a representation of people who, who, who've made a clear decision that, that, that Jesus, I want to be sensitive to your presence. Jesus, I, I want to be led by your spirit. I don't want to be caught up in my logic of what makes sense, but Jesus, I want to be sensitive to where you're leading me. Jesus, I, I, I want to be able to elevate you in every area of my life. And even though I look at places where I'm suffering, that these are opportunities for me to exalt you in this situation. Jesus, I, I want to continue to follow you and look at your backside and see what you've endured so I know that I have healing because of what you went through on my behalf. This is, this is us getting a refresher on what it means to be a follower of Christ. And though different denominations have different expressions, we will have a core root of what it means to be a follower of Jesus. There's somebody in here that, that's given their life to Christ. The words that we're about to pray doesn't save you. It's the faith that saves you. So church, before I pray for all of us, I would love for us to repeat this prayer after me as support for those who are praying this prayer, as, as, as saying that they're surrendering their lives to Christ many for the first time. Re repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross was rose from the dead and that you are forever seated on high in heaven. Lord, I pray that you fill me with your spirit. Allow me to hear your voice and have the boldness to go where you take me. Amen. Let me, let me pray for you and then we're going to allow the worship team to come up and to, and to minister to us. This is what I want us to do. I want everybody up here to, to raise their hands. I'm, I'm a believer in being fully surrendered to the presence of God. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you so much, Lord, for your presence. God, I thank you for your word and I thank you for your people, God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that all these hands that are outstretched, Father, are, are outstretched, reaching towards heaven, God with an expectation of having an encounter with you, Lord. Father, there's many up here, God, that, that want to be sensitive to you, Father. They want to take off the shoes of, of their logic and their intellect and their past and, and be able to walk in the presence of you knowing where you're leading them to go. When you're telling them to avoid certain, certain steps, Father, they're sensitive enough to know what your voice is whispering to them. Father, I'm praying for a supernatural overflow of your spirit, God, that they're more sensitive to what it is that you're telling them to do. Allowing them to know that their past is behind them, God, that, that their success is behind them, but Father, they're going to be sensitive to where you're leading them, Father. God, I pray that you saturate them in this moment. Father, I'm praying for every single one of us in here, God, that we can continue to be sensitive to opportunities to elevate you in our lives, God. It may be at our jobs, it may be at our schools, it may be at our homes, it may be with our friends, Father, but our call is to elevate you in every area of our lives, God. Father, we very well may be the only Christian that someone will ever know. So, Father, I pray that you give us the ability to bear the cross that you have on our lives, Father. 
Father, that when we go into our workplace, that we don't look at it as an opportunity to, to complain like everyone else, but, but look at it as an opportunity to minister your peace and love and joy to a coworker that's dealing with brokenness. Even when we're looking at why are we there, but Father, you've positioned us there for a reason. Father, I pray that when we wake up tomorrow, God, we have a deep revelation of what it means to, to be in your presence and to speak words of hope and love and joy for people who are struggling. God, I, I pray that you give us the ability to stay close enough to you that we can see what you've done for us. God, that we never lose perspective and ask you to follow us, but Lord, we follow you. That God, we can see your hinder parts. We can see your back. We can see what you've done on our behalf, Father. That though we may walk through the valley of shadow of death, we fear no evil because you're with us. Though we may walk through sickness, we fear no evil because healing is with us. Though we may walk through some situations and things, God, we have no fear because you are with us. God, allow us to be encouraged by your presence. Father, I pray that you take control of this place, take control of our lives, Father, and allow us to follow you and to exalt you in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.